All right, what's going on, man? It's your boy Crucial RC here. Um, fresh up in this, uh, what is it, 2020 now? Um, just want to do a little quick video, man. You know, I'm still, still breaking in the um, 5T, you know? So I still got the uh, the weak Lucy tires on there. You know, they, they all right. You know, they'll get the bashing done, but it ain't. You know what I'm good at. You know what I'm used to. Anyhow, you know I like these joints. You know what I mean? Knobby jumps. It's like I'm digging in that dirt. You know, vicious tires. That's what I like. Knobby tires. All right. So what we're gonna do today? You know, I've already started. I got a couple of them mounted up. Like so these are the uh, 2.0 um, Losi tires or well, Losi wheels. And uh, just some roving um, knobbies with uh, the Mad Max foam from DDM. So I said these are the 195 80s. Um, comes out to be about about seven inches, right? About seven inches from uh, knobby to knobby outside. Um, like I said, I, I think it's a nice looking wheel and tire combo. You know, I got the uh, stainless steel um, screws in there also. All right now <clears throat> I had a couple guys talking about on the forum large scale form um, asking about uh you know if how how do you mount these B locks right so as you can see these B locks are you know flush pretty flush with it right no wavies you know uh, you got to make sure you get the bead lock seated before you put this uh, outer ring on. Same as inner ring. You know, you want that to be flush. You don't want any kind of waves. You don't want any kind of highs and lows in your bead lock because that means that it's not set right. Right? That may work for a while, um, but you want this to be flat. You know what I mean? That way you have zero chances of your uh, tire coming loose from the wheel. Right? Now, I know some of the guys, you know, that's on the, my channel, um, mess with the uh, eighth scales, right? You know, mess with these, right? Everything is all about gluing, gluing the tires, right? Good CA gluing the tires. Well, fifth scale has them. And um, matter of fact, I think when I bought my Losi, it came with the uh, uh, glue tires on. Actually, I had to glue the tires. That was like the first shipment of tires that came out with the uh, Losi 5B. So I had to actually glue them myself. Now they work. Now don't get me wrong, they work, you know. But um, the fifth scales, you know, they're pretty much uh, B lock technology, right? So we got another set over here. I'm gonna walk you through the steps and uh, show you how, how I do it, all right? So here we are, right? We got the uh, the outer and the inner B locks. Right, so put this off the side. You got your um. This is just a standard uh, foam insert. Like I said, I think it's a Mad Max foam insert off of DDM. They're not that expensive. Um, you know, they make the zero growth if you want them, or um, you know, the uh, people. Some people take and tape them. To stop the uh, tires from ballooning, but that's a whole nother subject. But I just wanted to, you know, get a just a basic foam, right? All right, now you have your my low C2 B, B lock rim, right? Wheel rim, whatever you want to call it. And then we have the roving knobby tire. And like I said, this, this, this process works for any B lock. Right, any B lock wheel and tire you want to do. This is how I do it anyhow. All right, now with the wheel comes um, inner and outer B lock screws. So make sure you pay attention to that, you know, because uh, I think the what is it? The outer comes with a, a cap head Allen screw, and the inners, the big, big. Uh, B lock wheel uh, rim ring, whatever you want to call it. 
the inners you use the um the rounded screw head so make sure you pay attention to that when you put those together all right if you decide to use these now i don't use these um because basically i don't know if you've seen these before but this the screws here are just basic allen screws right and i'm gonna take one of these out all right so here it is so it's just a basic allen screw right that's all it is allen screw cap head all right now what i like to use is the um ddm bite screws or some similar like i said these bite screws right here here's the model number and um let you see what the difference is it really takes it's a coarse thread screw right as opposed to just regular machine threads on it so these bite screws actually bite a lot better like a lot tighter um less chances of it stripping out and it's just a better screw stainless steel screw you can get them in stainless steel color you can get them in um, black color whatever your flavor is you know what i mean so i use these bite screws that's all i use i order them when i when i place an order i put an order in for like three of them you know, I mean, it's really not that expensive, but I like to have these as opposed to these ounce screws. These are prone to stripping out, and, um, and to me, they ain't no good. So, let's get started with this, all right? All right, so you have your, your wheel, all right? Now, this is the back of the wheel, because like I said, it's the bigger opening, back of the wheel, all right? This is your phone. As you can see, you got little indentations all the way around here. These indentations need to line up with the little cutouts along the wheel. All right, let's get this foam in here. All right, so got the foam in, right? As you can see, let's see. This screwdriver as you can see the cutouts in the foam don't line up with the cut don't line up with the cutouts in the uh tire no problem no biggie so you just gotta move the foam to line those cutouts with the tire all right no big now we got a pretty close so that the foam cutouts line up with the rubber cutouts. Cool. All right. Now you take your wheel, and like I said, it's the back of the tire here. Take your wheel, you push it right in. And you want to line up. Now you want to line up your screw holes with your rubber on the tire and the foam. All right, so just push that down in there. All right, now you got to pick the rubber, the tire out, and you want to get it on the outside of the lip of the wheel. Mm -hmm. Take your time, you know, make sure you're doing this right. Because this is one of those uh, important important spots. All right? Right now, you got the tire in. And as you can see, the wheel, the screw holes are a little slight off. The tire, no problem, right? Just sit here and rotate the tire so it lines up. All right, now we're pretty much lined up, right? This is the front, all right? This is the rear. And what I like to do, since I'm working on the rear, I just go all the way with the rear. All right, rear the tire, all right? Make sure your rubber lines up in these slots. It's all around that rim. Make sure it lines up in these little cutouts. See that little cutout right there? That little tab has to line up right inside that, that uh, cutout. All right. Then what I like to do, take your rear bead lock, which is the bigger one. All right. Take your rear bead lock, lay it right over top of it. All right. Get yourself your bite lock screws. Get it started. Make sure your clutch it's all the way down when you're doing this on your gun if you decide to use a drill or something make sure your drill is all the way clutched out 
All right, I like to put one screw in. That's it, all right? I like to rotate it. Opposite corner. Like I said, make sure you, make sure that, that lip is down all the way. All right, and we'll get this one started. All we're doing is getting them started. And as you can see, all the way around there, that, that lip is nice and flush. So it should be no problem with putting the rest of these screws in here. And oh, I forgot to tell you, with these bite lock screws, there is no inside and outside screws. They're all the same. They're all the uh, capped head screws. And like I do all the time, you wanna go opposite corners and put all your screws in. I'm just getting everything started right now. Alright. Now we got them all in, clutch down the one on the on the drill. Um, what I usually like to do, I usually do front and rear and then go through and tighten all the screws up. So let's do the front now. And like I said, make sure, see how everything's lining up. Every, these little tabs are fitting down inside the tabs to go around the wheel. All right, everything's fitting in there. So now let's get the outer B lock. Get that set. On here. And like I said, just, just take your time with this. It's not no rush, not no rush to get this done, but you want it done right. Alright, so we got that one in, spinning around. Make sure everything is down flush. Something doesn't feel right, pull the wheel up. Pull that bead lock up and make sure it's going in there right. Doesn't feel right, something ain't right. All right. I mean, don't be afraid to you know pull that wheel up. Make sure everything sits flush. And there you go. All right, so that's the everything's sitting nice and flat on there. All right, so we go around, do all the rest of them. two extra ones just in case I don't know you lose them or something like that but so now I take my two and a half millimeter um, Allen hex head and just give them a little you know quarter turn or something around the whole uh, wheel and so you're not trying to strip the plastic you're just trying to make sure everything is seated and in all the way and you'll feel it, like I said, you, you know, you don't want to go too crazy with it. You just want to give it a little nice quarter turn. Some of them will be in a little bit further than others, and you'll feel the resistance. Just front, same thing for the rear. Just a little quarter turn. Quarter to an eighth turn, whatever, you, you know, you'll feel it. is all done um i think it's a vicious you know color combination i like the stainless steel heads of the screws with the silver wheels and the black tire that, that turned out real good 
But, uh, you know, that's what you're looking for, man. You want that nice, flush, flat um, bead lock on the, in, on the outer and the inner. A nice, flat. You don't want any kind of waves in the bead lock, because either that means you over torque the screw, or either that rubber ain't inside that slot all the way around this thing, all right? Now, you know, I actually have heard of also people um, putting a little bit of glue along those slots to keep that rubber seated. I guess it all depends on how much power you put into these things. Me, like I said, I got a 34 OBR. I think it's around 10 horsepower or something like that, so I don't think it'd be an issue. Right? But that is how you put a bead lock wheel together for fifth scale. All right? Not hard, man. Anybody can do this. Just gotta take a little bit of time. Just like any of this stuff, man, that I, that I show you guys. Just gotta take your time, man. All right? Um, put that to the side for now. Uh, I haven't forgot about my nitro out there, believe me. Um, it's just been so cold. I have not been trying to do anything with nitro. I mean, I uh, winterized my cars, um, the x-rays. You know, I'm gonna get ready to start. You know, do a couple, some real good track sessions. Some, um, some real good, maybe a couple track actual uh, races next year, next season. Um, I got a little something for you guys, just a little quick, little quick something. Um, this is gonna be my new platform for my trucking. I'm gonna try it out, see how it goes. And, um, you know, see what's up with it. I see a lot of people out there running Nova Rossi's and I love them. You know, I've never had no problems with my Nova Rossi. Um, you know, uh, works engines, reds engines, all that good stuff. I haven't really seen too much on this Triton. You know, I've looked at a couple forums and uh, I see a lot of good good information on the, the Triton engines, the L5. This is the L5 Triton Black Edition, right? This has actually been modded by RCR. Um, I'll, I'll put a little link to them down in the description too. Um, I've never had a Triton motor. I've never known anybody to have a Triton motor. Sorry, Triton engine. All right, I've never known anybody who had a Triton engine. Um, I got this. I put the uh, the reds, uh, four shoot clutch, uh, two aluminum, two composite. I got the vented reds clutch bell on here. Um, 14 tooth. That's what it is. 13 tooth. Sorry. 13 tooth uh, clutch bell on here, fresh bearings in here. Um, you know, I put the rubber band on here for now. Got all the caps on the car right now. Like I said, I've heard by reading on the internet, on the forum, that you know, Triton engines are pretty good. Like I said, this is a modified 21 um, L5, right? So we're gonna put this thing together. I also have the, um, the, uh, Triton spark plugs, because like I said, if you buy a Triton engine from uh, RCR, and I'm guessing anywhere you buy a Triton engine from, they don't come with the, the spark plugs, the glow plugs. Now, what I also read is you have to run the Triton glow plugs for the Triton engine. Now, right now, I got a Nova Rossi um, medium uh, turbo plug in here. Just because I didn't realize that they, you had to order the spark plug, I mean the, the glow plug separately. So I just threw a Nova Rossi in there just to make sure that um, that the, uh, you know, no dirt or nothing got into the there. I also got the, um, the header. All right, Triton header. And pipe combination. This is the pipe, 2148 pipe. This is what they, uh, they offer three different levels. Um, a drag pipe, a high performance uh, pipe, and then I think there's one um, more like a fuel efficient pipe that's below this. Um, I didn't want to get the drag pipe, you know what I mean? So I really wanted something that could work together, you know what I mean, with this on a racing platform. Um, Maybe if, like I said, if I like this later on, I'll get one for the buggy, or maybe I'll get one for the Losi, the AT. Um, maybe a, the, the modified for drag racing uh, engine for the AT. But for now, like I said it comes with, got the pipe, the header, and has the 
the springs and uh, the exhaust coupling also for it. So that's what we're heading with in the 2020. You know what I mean? So this is the platform we're running 2020. So you'll see my uh, truggy out there getting it. Um, like I said, there's nothing wrong with my Novarossi. Everything has been going smooth with them. I just want to do something a little different. I mean, as you know on my channel, I do things a little different, right? I'm trying to do things a little different. Um, like I said, don't really see too much of this out here. And uh, I'm going to try it, right? All right, man. So like I said, just want to let you show, show you that I ain't forget about my Nitro fans out there, my Nitro people, my Nitro family. You know what I mean? I just... You know, I've been dealing with my fifth scales. It's a lot easier to mess with the fifth scales in the cold. Um, like I said, right now, my eighth scale nitros, they're all winterized and uh, just in storage mode. All right. So this is your boy Crucial RC, man. Um, I will holler at you a little later. I'm going to get these tires on the L5T um, once I finish with the break-in. And then uh, we'll get this put in x-ray my uh, xt8 all right so y'all stay tuned man 2020 is gonna be some fun and uh i'll holler at y'all a little later all right man it's your boy crucial i'll see you i'll holler at you out